Alrighty! Okay, so let's get into this screaming forest, okay? I believe this is like the last full-length project from Cemetery that we have left to react to, and you know, I've been reacting to his music for a good bit, so I'm glad to uh, sort of be wrapping this up. Obviously, I think it's pretty fair to say I'll be reacting to uh, anything else that they come out with. Um, yeah, relatively short project, 10 songs. It's like literally just hitting the half-hour mark. Um, yeah, I don't know why I never listened to this. Did I, I, you know, I had a YouTube channel at this point. I don't know, uh, I don't think I ever react. Did I ever react to Cemetery at this point? I, I'm not sure if I ever did. I think, okay, yeah, f uh, f December 21st, 2021. Um, so that's probably why I didn't react to it. Cemetery wasn't on the menu yet. Okay, without further ado, let's get into it. <laughs> Okay, I hail the night here, um, okay, yeah, it sounds pretty good on first go, like, I'm not sure what to expect, like, I like that chorus right out the gate, so that's what's selling for me. I'm still thinking, you know, I'm like, yeah, I've, I've heard something like this before, you know what I mean? So it doesn't, like, stand out as, like, a specific cemetery song, and maybe it will later. <laughs> Okay, Rituals honestly is brilliant, it's fantastic, that one is working for me right out the gate, really liking the hook on that one, even like there's good like drum moments right where I'm really feeling it and really being impacted by it, so I like the energy of this one, okay? Okay, easy listening, a lot of fun. I was having, you know, some fun with the lyricism on there. Book is not as strong as the last two songs, though, but um, that's okay. Yeah, we're the hard and bound, the way the trees frown. Gotta wait at every 
This song samples uh, Depresso by the Smashing Pumpkins just on the Genius thing. Um, I'm a big fan. Oh, okay, I'm seeing it here now. MCIS Demos 2. Okay, this is deep, 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 deep. Okay, I know a lot about um, Smashing Pumpkins. Like, I know a good bit of their B signs. You know, they had the Rotten Apples thing too. You know what I mean? Like, they had a um, Greatest Hits album. Second disc was like, um, was a bunch of B-sides, and they had like that Aeroplane, Flies High, uh, like it was a huge album, there's the Pisces Iscariot album, I guess, as well, but Depresso, um... <laughs> definitely my least favorite song like I wasn't fully in it for that verse but then like like that it's it, when you get like the chorus like the way that beat hits it's kind of satisfying and it, and it does seem sort of new or fresh like uh, it's a specific sound like I wouldn't have heard it um, on any of his other songs so I don't know you know, I'm still engaged with this you know what I mean but I do think that coming back to it more times so I can see like how does this you know, stack up in the sense of is it catchy enough? Like, am I thinking about it or singing it in my head? Like, um. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
face, you wanna see my real face, bitch, I'm like, this is my real face, and I'm like, oh, you mess, now I'm on the cream, on the cream, creeping through the woods, creeping through the street, all day and all night, we don't go to sleep, I'm going to the rest, yeah. in the 2014 count, shock you up, shock you up, listen to no, don't fuck stupid talking, I'll grab her, I'll grab her, I'm gonna call a buffer, I'm gonna call a buffer, I'm gonna call a buffer, with a murder, I'd have died into the screen before I can't find a baby bell I'm always still saying demons Hockey mask, hockey mask 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 Now I never leave your body to the rack Open the house, girl So I can feel nothing Yeah, 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 yeah,
Um, and I, I don't know, you know, my opinion of this is not anything crazy compared to the other projects. You know, it's relatively around the same. I don't know. One thing I will say on this first go, like even compared to the Rainbow Bridges, I think, yeah. Let me look. So I have to look at all of them just to sort of maybe do a little bit of comparison. Because I'm thinking with the Rainbow Bridges, um, all three of those, and uh, it's definitely... Actually, I would say every single one of the albums, Grave House, The Rainbow Bridges, 100 Acre Wrist, um, which I got to change the score of on Write Your Music. Jesus, still at a half star. Change that to three and a half. Um, but this is the least memorable, is sort of what I'm feeling on first go. Like, there's not these, like, standout moments, really. Um, or like, you know, name, like things that were really shocking me, like this specific song is sh hitting me, right? So, and one thing I will say about this album on first go too, is it does seem to ha have a little bit more light of a lightness, this mel melodicness in this light nature. Um, not more melodicness than other albums, I would say, you know, I'm really feeling that on Rainbow Bridge 3. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I, I really don't know what to think about this one, to be honest. Let's keep it at six and a half right now near that seven as well because I don't know but but the thing is, is giving it a seven feels too close to the other albums that I, I don't know if I should give it that because I'm just feeling like it's just not as um it's not as um what's the word I'm looking for it just doesn't have any as much standouts that's really what it is there's not these things standing out to me um listening to it really um but you know lyrically you know, we're getting that same stuff. You know what I mean? I would say that the hockey mask one is sort of funny, though. So that works, but... Um, okay. I'll, I'll come back to this a few more times, and I'll see if uh, it gets stronger for me. But uh, at least I will sort of have a better understanding. All right, we're back at it here. Screaming Forest. Listen to this a few more times. It's... This is the weakest Cemetery album. It genuinely is. Um... I'm going to stick with the six and a half that I gave it, like in comparison to the rest of um, their albums. Yeah, this is the weak, weakest one. It's not bad. It's not like a bad album. But yeah, like I was saying in the video before, there's not like really any standouts. My experience listening to this one, like I was feeling a lot of sameness or I wasn't feeling like, oh, okay, I understand. Like uh, there's this. Uh, this is the reason why this song works. This is the reason why this song works. Like, it just wasn't hitting me as much. It went by 30 minutes, very fast. Went by not feeling a, a strong enough variety, like feeling too samey throughout this. The experience of listening to these songs are okay. You know what I mean? Like, you have that that synth in the back doing what it does. The beat, it, it's banging. You know what I mean? It's very forceful. It's very impactful. That's what I expect right but no this is missing like the oomph you know what i mean this is missing the oomph that sort of makes cemetery cemetery for me so I, I don't know what they were trying to do with this project because it seems i don't know like it just it doesn't seem like the same amount of passion um even thematically i'd say like thematically this uh, album doesn't have any songs that are specifically um comedic uh, in their uh, concepts to the exact same degree. There's a little bit of it, like I was saying, with the hockey mask. Um, but yeah, it's just not the, it's not to the same degree. Okay. If there's anything else you want to see me react to, anything at all, put a comment down below. And thank you for watching. Peace.